I suppose it all it comes down to the same old question as poses like wh where is while we have the decrepitude of the capitalist order at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that there uh, currently there is a, a social force that could become a political force at the moment. Yeah, it's a it it I I am not persuaded. Yeah, of this. I know that people repeatedly say this, goodbye to the working class. It's a standard damn thing. The Euro communists, I say this again, because the Euro communists were saying the working class is fucked, that's it, in the 1980s. There's going to be no big mass strikes and mass struggles. It's over. And of course, the people who come from that tradition go on saying that. The reason why they go on saying that is because it's deep in their politics. This is this memory of the great successes of the Western Communist parties in the People's Front period in the 1930s and uh, in, for that matter, of the 1941 to 45 as the People's Front on a global scale, the, the alliance with democratic capital against the fascists, the great patriotic war the People's Front governments in uh, Western Europe in the immediate post-war period and so on and so forth. And that's their commitment. It's uh, The theory changes. One moment it's uh, China is going to rule the world. It's another, it's um, all the, the, the stuff has been rebranded as from what's called structuralism and then it was called post-structuralism. Then it was called postmodernism, and most recently it's been called post-Marxism. The underlying commitment is simply a commitment to the People's Front. And the problem essentially is without extricating ourselves from that stuff, we're in exactly the same situation that the guys who were committed to uh, the coalition, uh, to uh, Milleron and before that to uh, Louis Blanc and the bits of the left who we should appeal to. It's, it's a whole variety of different things and so on and so forth. But in essence, it, it, if it were the case that it was actually no sign that the working class, that the trade unions had just died, uh, that there was no sign of working class organisation at all, that you know, the, the Corbyn thing is, a, is an exa interesting example. Because you've got this surge of a couple of hundred thousand people into the Labour Party simply on the basis that it holds itself out as the party of Labour and that it happens to be the case by pure accident that somebody is on the ballot paper for leader of the party who represents the idea that the party is an alternative. He's, he doesn't have a any sort of a clear idea and his lack of a, his, his commitments to preserving the unity of the party and to parliamentary democracy and all that stuff lead it in being made unable to deal with the you know, targeting and unable to turn that surge into anything. But nonetheless, that is there. 